I see like a giant white flag. Well, the first thing I saw was the Snoopy figure. One thing that almost everybody sees is the red crown and the purple. Although some people say it looks like a rooster's coat. The vibes from the back, the vibes from the mountain volcano. The funny thing is, it's actually supposed to be Jasper. The name of this piece is the King Jasper. It's by an artist named Mamoru, painted in 1926. He used oil, pencil, and charcoal on canvas. Well, he actually started with the brown canvas, which is very unusual. The painting is in a thick, dark wooden frame. Also, as you can see, the teeters have a thin neck and narrow shoulders. Its eyes are far away from each other. One small and painted black, another big and scribbled in pencil. Can anyone point out the two eyes? Um, one right there next to that black thing. And the other one right under the rooster's thing, like or the crown, whatever it is. Um it's next to the pencil scribble. I don't know. <sighs> also, the figure lacks a nose, making it look vintage. Although some people say this type of painting looks graffiti like it's actually could be considered surrealism. Surrealism means more than real. Surrealists took things and turned them into something people could look at in a different way. They also took ordinary objects and put them in impossible situations. They did this in response to World War I. Moreau was considered one of the first realists, but they did not like to be labeled to Juan Moreau was born in 1893 in Barcelona, Spain, and died in 1983 on Christmas Day. He grew up on a farm in Spain. The only subject he was good at in school was art. In 1920, he took his first step to Paris and was influenced by the counterculture. He was also inspired by other painters in Paris. He was inspired by Paul Cezanne, a post impressionist painter who died in 1906, and Vincent Van Gogh, another post impressionist painter. Eventually, he moved to Paris but spent just summer in Spain. He hated conventional paintings because he thought they supported the rich. When he joined the Surrealist group, he was so poor he was only eating a few things a day. He painted this piece and it went to poverty. Some people say his paintings have a dreamlike quality because he was so hungry at the time. Others say his paintings show the beauty of Spain and show the love of the farmer he grew up. Here is a painting that he did in 1940. Biomorphic abstraction in most of his paintings. Biomorphic abstraction is an art movement that began in the 1900s. It uses naturally occurring patterns and shapes. Instead of recreating this piece exactly, I changed the colors. I also used a white canvas instead of a brown one, and I used acrylic paints instead of oils. I did some things like most, like I used red color pencil for the crown, charcoal for the outline of the face, and pencil for the script. Also notice in my interpretive piece and the real piece, there's more negative space than positive space. The negative space is on the outside of the face and near the edges of the brim. So I hope this has inspired you to look at ordinary things in different ways like Von Moreau did with the King Chester. Von Moreau once said, I try to apply colors like words that change forms, like notes that change. And maybe after today, you can do the same.